best thing about the research work is when you figure out a new way to attack an old problem. And you can solve it by either coming up with a very nice idea or an idea for a new project or a very nice way of analyzing data to address this question. And that's really the most exciting part when you feel like you're pushing the boundaries of research forward within your projects. So we would like to understand how cell identities are regulated. We would like to understand what happens when cells, the early cells of the embryo that has uh, the capacity to generate all cells of the body, how this capacity is regulated and how the more specialized cells are formed from these, these stem cells. Sort of like we would, we would like to understand the regulatory logic inside the cells that dictates their, their identity and their potential to become other cells. We attack this problem in many, many different ways, but in one of our projects, we are looking at the early four or five first days of mouse embryo development, where the fertilized egg you know, has divided and gets more specialized and has formed a 64 cell embryo, which is then called a blastocyst. And within that embryo, there are three different types of cells that have all uh, come through specialization from this fertilized egg. And only one of them is a pluripotent stem cell, meaning it can give rise to all the cell types in the body, whereas the two other cell types perform more support function, for example, forming the placenta. So within that system, we would like to understand exactly how uh, cell specialization is regulated at the genome-wide level, meaning to try to understand which are the important factors and how are these factors regulated and how do they know when and how to act and, and regulate other genes. So although this is clearly you know, a basic research project, uh, this kind of information is definitely of great importance for all you know, our current efforts to use stem cell therapies to be able to take a stem cell or take a skin cell and transform it into a stem cell and then later reprogram it into the clinically relevant cell type. And in all of these pursuits, it's very important to, to know the basic regulation of cell type identity and how you can reprogram cell identities. Being a researcher is a fantastic job. Although at, at times it can be a bit competitive, you have resources and total freedom to attack the problems that you think is the most interesting for you. And that's really unique and that's sort of the driving force of, of most researchers, I think. And there's too many good ideas and too many interesting projects to work on and time is never enough. So it's never a problem going to work, it's more a problem to actually come home sometime. Thank you.